So it's a beautiful evening in Poland right now. We're on an evening hunt. I have Mouflon on the list. TJ has Red Stag. Who knows who will be holding the camera and who will be holding the rifle. So it's just a, a really fun adventure for us being in Poland. Um, we're in fall. It's just beautiful weather. It's really, really warm. A lot warmer than we're at home right now. So really enjoying it. So let's get the rifle and get going. So you see a lot of fences around here and it's um, it's not to keep the animals in, it's to keep the animals out. Um, so this was a newly cleared woodlot. What they're trying to do is get new trees established and there's just so many deer in here that uh, they just eat them and destroy them. So they have a lot of fences and that keeps the animals out. There's a raccoon dog. They're native to Asia, but I've heard that more and more of them are showing up in Poland. I was really hoping to see one. You can even hunt them here, so wow. That is too cool. What a way to end the evening. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable. Zeiss, we make it visible. Defense aerosols, bear spray, for when your life depends on it. Sacco Rifles demand perfection. Closed captioning brought to you by PSE Archery, the precision compound bow experience. Introducing the Carbon Air Stealth 35, along with a new Evolve cam system powered Evoke 35 and Evoke 31, PSE's newest precision compound bows. Well, what an amazing day today. We're in Jetzendorf, Germany. We're with Tudor Dragomir, and we are at the Lova plant. And this place blows my mind. Thought we'd come here, see some big fancy factory with all kinds of machines. And these boots 
are handmade. Every machine has a person. There's all kinds of people doing separate jobs. Right down to the lady who puts the boots in the box and wraps the paper around them. It's all done by hand. You've got a pretty proud and long-standing tradition here, don't you? Yeah, we have been building boots here in Yetzendorf for 95 years. And um, we are doing boots and Ollie boots. We are focusing on uh, these products and we know how to do it. And we are very proud of doing this. Oh man, I've been wearing Lowe's for 15 plus years and they are my go-to boot. You've got a cutaway boot there. And you just look at all the different layers there and like the, even like the different thicknesses of the foam. It's not all one thickness. The leather is cut to different thicknesses and it's all designed for a purpose. The R&D that goes into these boots is years before you actually bring a boot to market, isn't it? Yes, there's a lot of experience that we have there and it's keep on um, evaluating and we're looking in new technologies and new techniques and we're adapting things by very, very small steps, but always with the same purpose, improving the boot, having a better quality, having better comfort and uh, having better features. I love leather boots. You guys don't cheap out on the leather at all. We kind of did a little tour through your warehouse today and there's like stacks and stacks of leather and there's different thicknesses, different styles of leather and it all comes from Europe. Yes, all the materials, all the raw materials are coming from Europe, but leather in particular, it's an expensive part of the boot. And this comes um, here uh, for the Camino, it comes from uh, a German leather manufacturer. We're using also some Italian uh, suppliers. It takes a lot of time to get good leather uh, because uh, you have to treat, um, and you have to split first of all, you have to treat uh, the surface, you have to uh, have the hydrophobic treatment, which gives the waterproofness. So. There's a lot of work into the leather before we get to the uh, quality that we see here in the boot. Now, you're saying this leather is hydrophobic on the outside, which helps it be waterproof. I mean, it's got a Gore-Tex liner in this one which mm -hmm. also, but it also allows that moisture from your sweating foot out. And you were saying, and I never knew this till today, that the molecules of sweat are actually smaller than the molecules of water. And that's how you can get it down to that science where you can let the moisture out, but keep it from coming in. Exactly. Uh, the waterproofness of the boot is permitted by a good quality of leather, which is hydrophobic treated and supported by the Gore-Tex membrane to make it completely waterproof. In the other direction, uh, the water vapor and the moisture inside of the boot is transported easily to the outside through the Gore-Tex membrane and through the leather. So maybe grab that sole. And that's just more than a chunk of rubber that goes on the bottom, isn't it? There's a lot of technology in this. Exactly. The sole uh, package here is made of a rubber outsole and a PU midsole. The PU is a polyurethane material. It's um, very interesting because it has a quality which is shock absorption. And the shock absorption is given the whole lifetime of your boot. Uh, it gets compressed a little bit, but it goes back to its original position. This is different from other foams which are used um, in, in the boot construction and which are getting compressed, as you know it from uh, running shoes. You have to um, change your footwear quite often. Here, the PU will give you basically the shock absorption the whole lifetime of uh, your boot. It's still a little bit heavier material, so that's why we're drilling some holes here to save some weight, and uh, that's um, a good part of it. It's supported also by um, some harder material which is built inside, which is um, uh, TPU, and um, this is part of our pronation, supination support, and um, it's, it's going to support your natural movement to avoid overpronation or, or oversupination. Amazing. I always kind of laugh. People will buy boots and they, then they got to spend another $100 on insoles to make those boots comfortable. A sole like this, you don't. I More than once, I forgot to put my insoles back in my boots. Didn't even notice. Put them on, went hiking for the day and got home and, oh, I forgot my insoles. They were just as comfortable. So the tour of this factory, you just watch the people working here. You can tell they really love what they're doing. They're very skilled at what they're doing. This place you could eat off the floor up there, it is so clean. It's just amazing. And we looked at some of your testing facilities too. Nothing goes out of here that isn't tested. You test the leather, you test the abrasion resistance of your fabrics, waterproofness. There's one person looks at every pair of boots before it goes in a box too, isn't there? Correct, yeah. There's a lot of testing um, uh, at development stage, but there's also testing um, during production process and there's a testing, of course, at the end. I want to thank you so much. 
Thanks for coming. Ah, this has been an absolute pleasure. I learned so much about boots today. Uh, I'm a lot smarter. Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Stony Creek Hunting Gear. It's in the blood. Loa Boots, simply more. Silver Willow Taxidermy, see the difference. Safari Club International Canada, first for hunters. Well, just spooked a bunch of chickens, I think. <laughs> We're in a farmyard and um, we just parked here. And they're gonna walk in, I think, probably to a, uh, I'm assuming a high stand, but I'm not really sure. So um, hunting mouflon this morning, I think. <laughs> So um, both TJ and I have quite a few things on our on our list. We've got mouflon, red stag, roe deer. So anything could happen. Swapping the camera, swapping the rifle. Who knows what's gonna happen? So it's a really nice morning this morning so far. Um, a lot warmer here than it is at home right now. So let's get going. There it goes. Not very big. Huh? Small. Oh. <laughs> All I saw was. It's gone. So cool. This morning we're actually walking in these uh, woodlots. Kind of creepy coming in here in the dark. I mean, you know, there's so much history here. I mean, Poland's got a tortured past, that's for sure. And you watch all those old World War II movies of all the soldiers going through the forest. I just feel like someone's gonna pop out at any minute. It's, it's pretty creepy, but it's so cool too. You think about these trees and how old they are. I keep looking for bullet holes in some of the trees. I just, you know, heal bullet holes. It's so cool in here. It's so cool.
Outdoor Quest TV is brought to you by Alberta Outdoorsman Magazine, Alberta's only hunting, fishing, and trapping magazine. Deluxe Wall Tents, built in Canada for Canadian conditions. Midland Radios, communication for every adventure. Tika Firearms, second to none. There was like such a huge group and he, so luckily they were they were feeding that way and he's like small small big shoot shoot <laughs> but we better go see yes 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 <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's been a long couple of days and we've walked miles uh, so cool because uh, you you never know where the mouflon are and um a couple of guys had seen them and um, they'd seen them either in the woodlot or just on the edge and uh, we saw a big group of fallow deer and we're like, oh, fallow again, fallow. And then all of a sudden he caught, mouflon, mouflon. <laughs> My heart just started to pound. <laughs> this is what I came here for. Oh, he's beautiful. Looks like that borrowed Seiko shot pretty well. Pardon me? Looks like that borrowed Seiko shot pretty well. <laughs> Look at that. He's actually broomed on this corner here. Oh, he's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. Put it in my hat. Yeah. Is it the right way? Yeah, a lot of tradition here in Europe. <laughs> it's all about showing respect. Thank you. Well, we're in Poland, hunting with Adrian Skok of Global Sporting Safaris. And boy, did he deliver. One of the big things on my wish list was mouflon. And uh, what a fabulous hunt. We've been hunting these wood lots that are right smack dab in the middle of all these agricultural fields. And so you, you don't know whether you're gonna see them in here or if you're going to see them out on the agricultural fields. So what we were doing was just working all of these trails within the, in the woods. And we were bumping fallow deer and red deer and everything else. And finally, after two days, we finally catch mouflon. So these are absolutely free ranging animals and you guys have got to come here, really. Thank you, Adrian, for having a fabulous time. This is my good buddy, Adrian Skoke, Global Sporting Safaris. I was thinking you kind of as the meth dealer of hunting. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you get us, <laughs> you get us hooked on things like this and then you just have to keep going. But we're in Poland right now and you basically discovered this and opened it up to the North American market. I'm pleased to do that, but I had some great help here in country oh. as well. And, uh, I'm glad that you find it addictive. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Um, I had no idea about hunting, in Poland especially, but 100% free range. There's no fencing. Actually, the only fencing we've come across really is to keep deer out of oh. orchards or pine plantations. Yeah. yeah. So we've got roe deer, we've got red stag, we've got mouflon, we've got fallow deer, and we've also got wild boar as well. Yeah, it's just not the, the best time. And we've seen some boar, just chose to focus on other species this week. Yeah. So. If you want to do one of the most incredible and a great value. Absolutely. Excellent value. This hunt is affordable for everyone. Talk to my buddy Adrian and he will get you hooked on hunting in Europe. Absolutely. We'd be happy to set you up. And TJ, I'm so happy that you came out again. This is our yeah. second kick at the can as I well. I know. And it? I think we have a little unfinished business here maybe in another year or so. I think it's a hat trick type deal, right? Yeah, at I'm, least. I'm down for You're it. You're down? Yeah. All right. Well, let's plan it. We, I know the guy we got to talk to. And uh, I'd be so happy to organize it and bring the group back here for round three. For more information 
on the incredible free-range hunting opportunities in Eastern Europe, contact our good buddy, Adrian Skoke at Global Sporting Safaris. These companies have provided products and services that are critical to hunts conducted on Outdoor Quest TV. You can check us out online at OutdoorQuestTV.com. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.